it's Kawaii Gore. Welcome back to Find Love or Die Trying, where we were in the process of trying to romance Yui, the little yandere girl, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's get right back into it. Then you set the meat around 300 degrees for 40 minutes. Mm, okay, got it. Tara furiously scribbled down notes. Wait a minute, can I just cook it for 600 degrees for 20 minutes? That's not quite how this works, I'm afraid. But the math checks out. What's going on? Oh, good morning, Gora. How do you do? I'm teaching Tara the proper way to prepare a pot roast. So far, I'd say it's going pretty well. Tara will be the one to prepare lunch today instead of me. Tara turned one of the dials on the stove as far as it would go to the right. And the student has surpassed the master. On second thought, perhaps I'll prepare an alternative course. One moment, please. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust her. Oh, ye of little faith. Time for the moment of truth. Lunch is served. Tara was nervously clasping her hands tight. <laughs> it's delicious! I did it! Oh my gosh! Tara did a little dance in celebration and gave Violet a high five. Should I become a food vlogger? I'm a cooking savant. This talent shouldn't be wasted. Psst. Hey, Violet. What is it, Gore? Is this what you cooked, or is this what Tara cooked? Violet smiled and winked at me. I don't know what you're talking about. She sipped on her soup contently. <laughs> I couldn't help but smile back at her. Damn, this was the best meal I've ever had. Granted, my memory goes only goes back about three days, but still, it counts for something. I figure it's about time to talk with Kat about my next date, but... I felt a tap on my back. Kat, is that... I turned around, and the girl in front of me was as surprised as I was. Cat? No, this is Allie. Uh, sorry, Allie, what's up? She looked to see if anyone else was around before she spoke. Have you noticed anything weird lately? What do you mean? Something about the show gives me the creeps. I went out for a walk in the forest last night, you know, because it's gorgeous and all. But after I got there, I must have dozed off for a minute. Taking a nap in the forest at night, you're braver than most, Allie. Let me finish. When I woke up, I was back in my room, on my bed. And I swear I don't remember ever walking back. Huh, that sounds pretty crazy if it really happened. You sure you didn't just have a weird dream? Now that you mention it, I tried Scarlet's cooking for fun last night. That was... A big mistake. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Did you notice anything strange happen last night? I don't think so. It was just a regular night. I had a conversation with Kat in my room, but that was it. Damn, five girls to date wasn't enough, huh? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Well, I guess I'll just be staying away from Scarlet's cooking and chalk it up to a weird-ass dream. Thanks for listening, Gore. It's my pleasure, Ali. See you later. She ran off just as fast as she had come initially. Someone's in a hurry. Hey, Cat. I was looking for you. Afternoon, Gore. Same here. I want to ask, did your guys do anything last night to Ali? Not that I know of. Our staff leaves the cast alone at night. I guess there's nothing to worry about. Kat's been honest with me so far about everything. <laughs> right? Anyway, more importantly, it's time for phase two. 
You've done pretty decently with setting up Yui and Violet as your soulmate candidates. People are eating it up. The romance? Whatever. More importantly, every time they're on screen, we get one hell of a ratings boost. From here on out, you'll only be going on dates with either of them. That'll be your best bet to get out of here alive. That sound good to you? You almost make it sound like I have a choice. I'm glad we're on the same page as always, Gore. But enough with the pleasantries. Who's the unlucky girl today? Ha ha ha. I guess I'd like to spend it today with... Yui! Yui. I knew it. Damn, I should have made another bet with four. Anyway, Huey's somewhere in the fields behind the mansion. I'll be filming as usual. Get a move on. I could see Yui waving at me from the top of the hill. Hey there, Gore. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Yui. You wanted to show me something? Now that I was closer, I could see Yui was holding one hand behind her back. A knife. Believe me, it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Behold! Oh, it's a bunny! It's a bunny! It was, indeed, a bunny. I'm glad, I'm glad I clarified that. Where did this little guy come from? To be honest, I've got no idea. I wonder if he's a wild one, or maybe somebody's pet? I've asked around, but it doesn't look like he belongs to anybody. So, I've been taking care of him since I found him. I just couldn't help myself, you know? Yui's smile was as earnest as could be. Didn't you have a pet bunny back home? I had two, Bun and Bun Bun. Both of them are total rascals, but Bun 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 here is a good boy, aren't you? She nuzzled against Boon Boon Boon's head. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. Yes, you are. Nuzzle, nuzzle. We played with the bunny for a little while. She picked the bunny up and held it in her arms. Boon 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 looked quite content. You know, you're pretty amazing with animals, Yui. Well, I've been surrounded by animals my whole life. Back at my house, well, to be honest, it was more of a barn than anything. Since my brothers were too young, Grandma was getting up there to take care of all the animals. Grandma's taken care of them ever since they were born. My parents were supposed to take care of them after Grandma retired, but... Well, you know, life happens. I'm just glad to have what I have. Ah. Bun 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 had managed to squeeze out of her hands and ran off. We gotta catch him. Let's go. On it. I ran as fast as I could after Bun Bun Bun, but it was no use. The distance kept widening. Before long, we couldn't even see him anymore. Sorry, I couldn't catch him. He's really fast for something so small. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Bun 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 likes to do this all the time. He's a bit mischievous, but he won't do anything dangerous. We can take our time looking for him. If you're willing to help. Of course, Yui. We started walking towards where we last saw Bun 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 right after we caught our breath again. Gosh, isn't it so nice to be outside? The smell of fresh air, the breeze. There's nothing like it. There, there really isn't. I smiled. At first, I was really excited to go to the city. There's so many people, so many things to do, so many beautiful things. And most of all, I got to meet you. Shucks, you're going to make me blush. Oh. She laughed and slapped me on the arm. Even so, the city's just not my thing. It's a little bit funny, though. The reason I had to come home all of a sudden was terrible. I... A little part of me was glad to be home. Ever had that kind of feeling before? I have. It's strange, but sometimes there's good in the bad, and sometimes that good can outweigh the bad. Exactly. You get it, Gore. My family's never been closer. And that's all I want. They told me to make a lot of money in the city, make something of myself, all that. It might seem old-fashioned, but I just want to put the people I love first. That's all you've got in life, really. I'm curious. What do you put first in life? 
family career? I'd say... I mean, like, she puts her family first. I feel like that's, like, the choice for her. Hmm. Maybe happiness. Happiness. If you don't have that, what do you have? Oh, is that so? I think we make a great team, then. We talked for several hours about what we wanted out of life. We wanted to match up. We seemed to match up perfectly. I was beaming the whole time. It's hard to believe that. It's Boon Boon Boon. Yui pointed in front of us, and sure enough, there was Boon Boon Boon, chomping on a bush. I'd never seen anyone move so fast. Yui descended on Boon 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 like a hawk and grabbed him in an instant. You are going back to your den, you bad little bunny. <laughs> but I'm happy you're safe. She nuzzled her face against his fur. Boon 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 was practically purring with delight. Then she looked right at me. I can't promise I could give you the most exciting life with the most twists and turns around every corner. But I can promise that if you choose me, I'd always be by your side, no matter what. Wherever you were, I'd come running. Always. She took a step towards me and kissed my cheek. We locked eyes, and for that time, all I could see was her and how beautiful she was. Boon 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 seemed to be a little jealous after that. Thanks again for the help, Gore. Being with you made this all go a lot faster and made it really special to me. Anytime, Yui. I'm happy to. We walked back together to the mansion, holding hands and smiling all the while. This is like so perfect. What's gonna go wrong? I was about to turn in for the night when I heard a knock on my door. Hey cat, I thought you weren't going to come over tonight. <laughs> Sorry about that, I got tied up in some things. Is everything okay? <laughs> Good as always. Care to join me for a walk? Sure, that sounds nice. Then away we go. We walked at a relaxed pace with cat slightly ahead, leading the way. So how are you feeling about day three, Gore? You still feeling Yui? Yes. I love Yui. Yui is still the girl I like the most. I'm loyal. If anything, getting to meet and know the other girls made me like her even more. It's Yui, you know. It's gotta be her. She's one of a kind. No one else gives me that same warm feeling inside. Aw, that's cute. Also a perfect answer for the cameras. Thank you very much. I guess that you'll be giving Yui's fan base some more things to go rabbit over soon. Hmm. You can say that again. Perfect. Well, I'm happy you've at least got one girl you're really interested in, but it helps you've got chemistry with Bo. Tomorrow you'll be going on a date with your other soulmate candidate instead. Let's milk this love triangle for all it's worth. Sound good to you? I'm noticing a pattern and making it sound like I have a choice when I really don't, yeah. None of us really have a choice nowadays, I'm afraid. Alright, I gotta get back to editing today's footage. You ready to head back to the mansion? Sounds good to me. We walked back in comfortable silence. Night! Oh, that's- Night! See you later, cat. we get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what would happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. We know the island better than anyone by now, Gore. We'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Damien's brought in that scientist for his latest experiment. All I've heard is that she's the one who built the prototype, the one Damien used to turn Six into a vegetable. What? Six? <gasps> there was a sixth brother! Not to mention the old test audiences, too. Shit. I think they must have killed at least a hundred people by now, and they still haven't perfected it. If we get caught... I get what you're trying to say. Are you still with me on this? It's not too late. You didn't even have to ask. Of course I'm with you. Who? 
are you? Somehow I know you're close by, but every time I try to see your face, the dream ends. Episode 4, second, second go. You, you've got to be kidding. My goodness, she really said that. Yeah, and she was all like, Whoa, what the hell is that? A flash of white raced through the kitchen, sending the girls into a frenzy. What the hell is that? I'm coming through, sorry. Yui practically bulldozed through the other girls in the kitchen. What's going on? I take it back. Boom 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 is a bad boy. He just seems so well behaved. I thought I'd let him go outside again and Boom 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 effortlessly swerved past Yui under Violet and left it on to Allie. Ah! Boom 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 somehow made his way up to her head and took her cap in his mouth. Oh, she has little buns in her hair. Hey, give that back! Boon 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 seemed to sneer at Allie, then leapt away and ran off. Get back here! Allie started chasing Boon 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 with all she had, but somehow he always stayed one step ahead of her. <sighs> this looks like a job for me. I'm going to need a Venus flytrap and a few bottles of... Boon 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 leapt onto Scarlet. Ah, get it off! <laughs> this is quite humorous that a mere bunny has eluded you all for this long. Think you could catch it? Why, of course. Watch a master at... Boon 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 left onto Violet's face. Uh, get this foul creature off of me. Boon 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 sneered with contempt. Someone do something. At that moment, I realized that Tara was recording Violet's struggles. I'm helping... Oh, I think that's meant to be Tara. I'm helping in just a second. Bun 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 left off Violet onto the kitchen floor and ran out. Give me my cap back. I do suppose a nice rabbit stew is on for lunch today. Huh, I guess I should help too. You up to help, Gore? I don't see why not. Time for round two. Now quick, before he gets too far. I'm right behind you. We spent the rest of the morning trying to catch Bun Bun Bun. Emphasis on trying. That bunny is on something. I'm calling it now. Drugs. We finally managed to catch him by baiting him with some food Violet reluctantly made. And even then, he didn't make it easy. Let's hope the rest of today is a little more relaxed. Ugh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so loud. My head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. I still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and oh, ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decides whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she did just that. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Clearly you're still alive, Gore, so it's all good. Believe me, you'd drink too if you worked here. Just look at the Brothers Five. Working at Futuristic Evil Corp. <laughs> Trademarked has to come with some benefits, right? You'd think that, but we still have to pay for a dental out of pocket. <clears throat> Before I forget what this show's all about, today's the day you go on a date with. Who is your other soulmate candidate again? Violet. How much did you drink last night, Kat? Whatever, I knew that. Just testing you, duh. Right. All right, let's get the second date with Violet started. Woo! Oh, someone tell the world to stop spinning like a little bitch. I'm pretty much fucked, huh? <laughs> oh well. There are worse things than dying, probably. I found Violet taking a walk outside of the mansion. Hey, Violet, what's up? Hello there, Gore. I just thought I'd take a nice afternoon walk. This place truly does bring back memories of home. 
You lived on your own personal island? Nothing quite that bourgeoisie. Anyway, I've got a surprise for you, wanna see? For me, I... I motioned for her to follow me into the mansion. I asked Kat to pull a few strings and, well, we have everything we need to bake whatever we want now. Oh my! Violet looked at me with childlike wonder in her eyes. Let's get right to it then, why don't we? She was practically shaking with excitement. Her smile and laughter was positively infectious. We decided to make a chocolate cake. It was her favorite flavor, and I don't remember mine. Well, I'll tell you what mine is. It's also chocolate, so... She's perfect. That said, I also don't remember a thing about how to make cakes, but with Violet, that wasn't a problem. She got me up to speed with a soft and steady hand, and before long we had a cake in the oven baking away. I wish it took longer to make. Seeing Violet do what she loved most was a treat. When she pulled the cake out of the oven, she looked like a kid on Christmas Day. Now, just for the finishing touches, a little more here, a little more there. She was in her own world, humming away as she danced around the cake, decorating it as she went along. I couldn't help but smile and watch her in adoration. She, she's pure happiness right now. I wish I could take this moment and just freeze it in time, for safekeeping. I can't wait to share this with the others. But first, Gora, would you mind testing it? You don't have to ask. Believe me, I'm first in line to try it out. Thank you. I just... I'm unsure if what I make is worth eating or not. Why is that? My family's caretaker, taker, Lucine, was the one who taught me to bake. Besides my sister, Lucine was the only one who ever bothered to try what I made. Sometimes I worry they told me it's delicious just to make me feel better. I took a little off the top of her cake, of her cake with my finger and licked it off. It's delicious, Violet. You better believe it. Would you want to help me a little longer? I'm having far too much fun to just stop now. I've just started making some cookies, and I find I quite enjoy your company and help, Gore. I'd love to. Let me know how I can help. Violet passed me a bowl of cookie dough, then a tray. All you need to do is make little cookie-shaped pieces out of the stove, then put them on the tray. Do try not to put any of them too close together on the tray, or it'll become something of a mutant cookie in the oven. Got it. No mutant cookies here. I ripped off a piece of dough from a bowl and rolled it into the size and shape of a cookie. Perfect. You're a natural. Thanks, Violet. I... Wow. In the time it took me to make one, Violet had made six perfect cookies. She moved with mechanical efficiency as she kneaded balls of dough into perfectly shaped cookies. Wow, I thought you were great before, but you're really incredible. How long have you been doing this? Perhaps since I was about, say, five? To this day, it remains the only thing I can best my sister at. I finished making another cookie as Violet finished three more. She held up one of the cookies and raised it to her face. You've gotten quite skilled at the score. I just wanted to say again, thank you for arranging this. I'm on top of the world right now. It was my pleasure, Violet. Gosh, she's adorable when she's not. She is. I thought she was going to be like really snooty, but she's actually really nice. For a few seconds, we kept working on the cookies in an amiable silence. Our eyes locked on each other's. You said you had a sister? Oh, I yes, indeed. Viola, Valentine. First twins in the family, she... Oh, I'm out of room on my tray. She flashed a devious smile in my direction right before she lightly threw a dull ball at my face. What's with that cheeky... Before I could react, it splattered against and stuck to my face. Cookie dough. She burst into childlike laughter. Nice catch, Gora. Perhaps you might try using your hands next time. Oh, it's on. I couldn't stop myself from smiling as I grabbed some ammo from my own cookie tray and threw them at her. She dodged them with ease and laughed. It's quite humorous how an old caretaker managed to do what you are struggling to do now. I interrupted her glowing with another dough ball throw. 
This time, it made a satisfying splat against her left cheek. Strike! Oh, you are so going down. Her smile turned devilish as she grabbed another dole ball. Oh shit. I've only a second before her next volley, I... I go on the offensive. I just start to reach for another dough ball from the tray when a dough ball splattered against my forehead, sending me recoiling backwards. Ah. And then another landed right next to it. Ah, mercy! And then another. I crumpled to the floor at feet. I declare this my victory in absolute confidence. She laughed as she pointed at all the dough on my face. I took the opportunity to interrupt her speech with another dough ball. It splattered right against her left cheek. Oh, you're even more dead now. Forget surviving this crazy TV show. I don't know if I'm surviving the next five minutes. Good way to go. It's like looking a tiger dead in the eye. Violet reloaded her ammo and was winding up for another throw. It was all I could do to reach for one more ball and scream in defiance. Bring it on! Some say you could still hear my screams in that kitchen to this day. We finished cleaning up after our impromptu food fight and brought the desserts that survived the Great War to the porch. Her smile and laughter were infectious. Pardon me, but I guess we can rule out you being a baseball player before you come to this island. She put her hand tenderly against my face as she wiped off some remaining dough. Oh, I'm kind of falling for Violet now, but we're gonna stick with you, you were loyal. We locked eyes yet again. Her eyes were practically magnetic. Thanks for playing along, Gore. I suppose it's been too long since I've had that much fun. So, thank you for indulging my little whim. It was a lot of fun for me too, Violet. Don't mention it. Besides, I think I got a few good hits in to make it worth it. <laughs> I'm worried for you. It appears your amnesia is getting even worse. Violet laughed as she picked off some more, some more crumbs off my face and licked them off her finger. Her eyes seemed to linger on mine. I do hope we can spend more time together soon. I quite liked this. I'd like that, Violet. I had a lot of fun with you too. You're full of surprises, you know? Just wait and see. There's more where that came from. We spend the rest of the day talking and eating little desserts together on the porch. That is so cute. Oh my god. Though Violet seemed quite distant when I first met her, I learned that the real Violet was nothing like that at all, and full of surprises. She could be unexpectedly shy one moment, then mischievous as a child another. One thing's for sure, being around her makes my heart skip beat, and the time fly. Before I realized how much time had passed, it was already pitch black outside. Ooh, what's going on? I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went for a walk downstairs. I decided to walk to the kitchen and open the fridge. Turns out there were some leftover cookies that Violet and I had made together. I grabbed a few and wolfed them down. I would. Delicious. Got a case of the midnight munchies? I figured I'd do my civil duty and help finish the cookies Violet and I made. Alright, only a good Samaritan would finish all the cookies so no one else would have to make that sacrifice. I'm just too good of a person, I know. It gets me in trouble sometimes. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? How do you date with Violet go today? Awesome. It was wonderful, and that's not a word I say very often. It's not every day where you get to spend it with a woman who can turn a kitchen into a war zone. I can't remember the last time it's so much fun, and that's not the amnesia talking. Violet really is something, ain't she? No kidding. I'd expect no less from the woman who's currently our audience favorite. Whenever we get both of you in the same room, ratings just soar through the roof. I can't say I'm surprised to hear that. Anyway, you're probably safe for at least another day, thanks to the ongoing rival rivalry between Yui and Violet. The stakes are rising, and so are our precious ratings. So without further ado, it's time for phase three. You've only got one date left with each of them before the final day. So make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. Will do. All right, good. Well, I need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show. 
You better rest up for tomorrow. You only get one first, third date with a girl, right? Sounds good to me, cat. See you later, Gore. Good night, cat. And thanks for the help. I realize I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. Uh-oh. That's ominous. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shut eye. Another weird dream. All right, we're out of the mansion. Next stop, the beach. I told you the staff wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because nobody's been stupid enough to try to escape till now. Maybe people should have been a little more stupid a little sooner. Easier said than done. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along. We'll go through the forest. Come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil were chasing us. The truth was not far from it. Okay, I can see the pier now and the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. She always put on her bravest face when she was afraid. We're going to make it, right? Of course, the boat's just a little further and no one's on our tail. I, I can't believe it. We're finally getting out of here. We're finally... We're finally going to leave, Gore. About time, if you ask me. I've dreamt of this moment every day since. Who knows how long we've been trapped here by now? But I never thought I could escape until I got to know you. I laughed. You're giving me too much credit. It was your idea. Find any other sane person and they would have told you the same things. Sane people didn't try to escape with me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if it weren't for you, though. She laughed. That was my favorite sound. Let's get back to matters at hand. We both know that this is where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. Now it's just a mad dash to the finish. You ready to run? No. I'm kidding, let's go. That favorite sound of mine once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. Third time's a charm, lucky. Alright. I walked down to the kitchen where the girls were having breakfast. So how was the date? Yeah, tell us. Tara was furiously scribbling down notes with the title, War Plans, in bold. It was really quite nice. We actually made this cake and cookies yesterday together, Gore and I. I hope you will all enjoy it. I ate all the cookies. They're amazing, Violet. Thank you for making it for us. Thanks so much. They're so delicious. Tara scribbled, War of Attrition is likely not an option. What are you writing there, Tara? Nothing. So, how come there's cookie batter everywhere? No matter where I look, I can see batter on every surface of the kitchen. It wasn't just the batter. Violet and I had knocked over quite a few things in our firefight. Uh, that's... Are you sure it was just baking together? Oh, I thought it was more than that. I charaded as if I was heartbroken. I gotta hand it to you, Violet. I didn't think you had it in you. Hubba hubba. Wait, no, nothing like that happened. Allie and I laughed and made finger guns at each other. I don't get it. That's because you're a good person, Yui. Uh, I think what Allie's trying to say is that Violet and Gore... Allie stuffed the cookie into Scarlet's mouth before she could finish her sentence. Mm -hmm. Wow, these cookies are pretty useful. You gotta teach me how to make these sometime, Violet. It would be my pleasure, Allie. Ooh, teach me too. Why should Gore have all the good stuff? Uh, we spend the rest of the morning fooling around in the kitchen. <laughs> morning, Gore. Time sure flies, huh? The show's almost over and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. No idea if that's gonna have any less headaches, though. Who knows? Strange as it sounds, I've had some fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all bad. I did mention that other people would kill to be in your position. 
On second thought, they definitely haven't thought it through enough. Probably not. Well, back to business. It's time to pick who you'll go on your first third date with. Who's the unlucky soulmate candidate for today? We'll go with Yui. Yui. The moment's finally here. The final date with the best girl. Remember, if you mess this up, there's an army of people out there waiting to take your place. Not planning on it, cat. You didn't plan to lose your memories and end up on an insane TV show either, but look how that turned out. Life sure is funny, huh? You're telling me life's never what you'd expect. But having a life with Yui, you'd be the luckiest person alive. And I'm not saying that because I've got money on you picking her. You promise? Let's get those cameras rolling, people. I could see Yui from my room's window, walking around the front of the mansion. It looked like she was looking for something. I practically jumped down the stairs and ran outside to see her. Hey there, Gore. What's the hurry? You look like you're in quite the rush. I just wanted to see you a little earlier. Oh gosh, that's really sweet of you. I've been meaning to see you too. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of thinking since you helped me get Bun Bun Bun. Uh, how's the big bee doing? Uh, come to think of it, that's why I came out here. You ran out here in a hurry and I was trying to catch up. Though this has already happened a few times, and each time he somehow ends up back in my room. I'm sure he's fine. I wouldn't be worried. I just can't help myself, you know? You're a really sweet person, Yui. I love that about you. You are too, Gora. Do you have time today to hang out? There's something I'd like to do with you. Of course I do. For you. Even if it's a little boring? I'm sure it can't be that boring if it's with you, you know. Whatever it is, I'm down. Okay, here we go. The beach. So we walked together on the beach and started fishing side by side. Uh, now this is the life. You have to admit, I have to admit this wasn't what I expected. This was by far the best way to pass ta the time out in the countryside. To be honest, I'm not much for crazy activities like skydiving or shopping trips. I'd rather just spend my days quietly with the person I love, talking from dusk till dawn. That's actually kind of what I would like. I'm torn. Just enjoying each other's company, you know? That's the best. Is, is this okay with you? Of course it is, Yui. Getting the chance to learn more about you, to try the things you like, that's where the real fun is. I'd also much prefer that to doing crazy things all the time, too. Though I do think shopping trips aren't really in the same category as skydiving. They are when you leap deep in the country. Hey, you up for a little contest? Sure, let's do it. What is it? I want to see who can catch more fish. <laughs> You're on! <laughs> Apparently I'd fanned the flames of Yui's competitive spirit. For the next few hours, we kept on at it while we enjoyed each other's conversation and company. Yui was a natural. She was catching fish left and right. Each time she caught one, she let it back into the ocean, and each time I wondered when my first one would bite. I never ended up catching a single one. But that didn't matter. What did was that we were having a ball. Thanks for indulging me, Gore. Hey, I had a lot of fun too, Yui. Don't worry about it. You don't have to lie. I'm not lying though. I I know oh, I'm not like the other girls. I grew up with nothing and it shows in how I spend my time, what I wear, everything. I love you so much, you know? Wow, okay. Still get views, okay. If I had you, I'd give you all the love of my heart, every moment of every day. I really would live for love. That's what I've always wanted. But I know I could never give you all the things everyone else could. The money, the acclaim, the excitement. 
and I find myself worrying. What if you picked me the second we leave this island? You realize that I can't give you the life you deserve, and you start to hate me. I would never, you're so fucking adorable. I don't know what I'd do if it came to that. So before it comes to that, I want to ask you, would just me be enough? Yes. Of course you'd be enough, Yui. You'd be more than enough, honestly. I don't need to be in the spotlight. I don't need to be rich. More than all that, I want you and just you. I waited so long to hear you say that. She pulled me close and kissed me. Yes! I love you so much. I always have and I always will. I'll always put our happiness first. I'll make you so happy every day. I'll do the same. I promise. Pinch me. I must be dreaming. This is as real as it gets, Yui. Here on out, it's just going to be me and you. And I still have one more date. Fuck. I... I just can't hold myself back anymore, Gort. She pushed me onto the warm sand of the beach and pressed herself against me. Oh, shit. Yui. She kissed me once more, her hands wrapped around me as mine pulled her closer. Let's make up for a lost time, Gore. <laughs> what happened next was imagination come to life. I lost all track of time and the outside world. Only Yui mattered. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Got laid. <laughs> oh, fuck. After today's date with you, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. The night was clear as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that I need to put on more. I found myself fixating on the moon without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Why's that? <laughs> just a gut feeling. And the island-wide surveillance system? <sighs> you doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. I can't believe the show's almost over. It didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? You've only got the last thir third date with Violet tomorrow, then the final ceremony on the day after. Speaking of which, how was your date with Yui today? I have a feeling you already know. It was awesome. Yui's the most wonderful woman in the whole world. Somehow, she can take the most normal things and turn them into irreplaceable memories. More than anything, I just want to make more memories with her, every day. And make her happier than anyone's ever been. Jeez, uh, we're going to have to edit that to stop people from throwing up. I get it, though. You, my friend, are luckier than anyone has any right to be. Better pack your bags, I've got a feeling you'll be heading to the countryside soon. Who knew that three dates were all you need to figure out if a marriage would last? If this TV gig doesn't work out, maybe I should become a marriage counselor. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. If I were you. Anyway, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get some work done tonight to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company, and it's not like you were up to anything. Cat reached her hand out to me. I put my hand in hers on instinct. With her hand in mine, she pulled me with her too. The library? Now you're probably wondering why did I bring you here of all places? You like to read? Well, yes, but no. There's no internet for us goons, so here's where we store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show. Building, and security details, guard schedules, and most importantly, salary records. It's hidden in plain sight as regular books. You need to know how to decipher them, though. They're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting, and also a little unnecessary. Who here is going to read a book? Oh, I knew that the state of education was bad, but not this bad. It's pretty bad. Still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up from this lovely arrangement to fetch each book I need to reference. Oh, I'm your slave. So, you want me to grab your books for you so you can just stay here? I'm so glad you understand. And, you know, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive, and it's just a teeny tiny fever. I couldn't help but laugh at her mock pout. 
Sure, Kat. It's the least I can do. Great. All right, to start, I need you to grab me the Princess of Avaranda, Avaranda, 100 Easy Recipes for a Philosopher's Stone, and I regret everything. This must be the hundredth batch of books I've had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, whoever designed this system should be shot. I tried to read a few of the books I was delivering, but like Kat said, they just seem like regular books. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, Gore. I'll send you a thank you card when you're off this island or something. At that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. I like to think of it as more unpaired charity work. You've got one last date tomorrow. Don't mess it up. I'm curious what's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe try to figure out what my life was before? Who knows? That's a good start as any. Well, I gotta get back to editing. Night, Gore. See you, cat. Guess I'll head back to my room and call it a night. The alarms were deafening. Oh shit, what's going on? We planned for- Oh, oh, it's the dream. Okay. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. Our one saving grace, the ship wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there's no time to fix it. That's... that's it then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I love you too, Gore. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms with the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. Okay. Gordon gone. I woke up with Yui in my arms. What? Yui! We stayed up late last night going for an unforgettable walk in the woods together. She was still fast asleep and holding on to me so tightly. She looked at peace. I ran my hand through her chestnut hair. Mm. I love you, Gore. She hugged me a little tighter. That's so fucking cute. I couldn't move. Ah! But hell, I didn't want to. Who would it? The morning flew by, and it couldn't have been any better. If you told me this would happen all those years ago, I'd have laughed. But I'm so glad it's happened. I'm the happiest I've ever been. That would be perfect if it wasn't here. What do you mean? I know you have to go on a date with someone else today. Yeah, sorry about that, Yui. That's okay. After you told me how you felt, I'm feeling secure, even if you have to date somebody else. Don't have too much fun, though. I kissed her on the forehead. I'll see you later, Yui. Come back soon. Oh, she's so fucking precious. Oh, well, look who crawled out of an eco economy, economic, of an economy class airplane toilet. Go fuck yourself, sir. I'm gonna save again just in case. And good morning to you too, Damien. Gore, don't mind my er. Uh, don't mind him. Damien was just telling me the news. Your ratings are doing really well so far. At this rate, I really think you'll make it out of here. That's great news. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Just because you've done well to now doesn't mean you won't jump the shark today. Your ratings today need to be higher than they've ever been, or you'll get axed. Axed literally. If I'm around when your number's up, I guess we'll find that out together, won't we? Later. Sorry about him. He could be a little mean sometimes. A murder threat is a little mean? Anyway. You ready for your last date with Violet? It's just this last date, then tomorrow it'll be the final ceremony. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Fantastic. Then we'll start filming right away. Good luck, boy. You'll need it. Thanks, cat. I owe you one. It's time for my last date with Violet. 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 I found Violet in the same place I met her. She was taking out a fresh batch of cookies from the oven. Morning, Violet. I slid next to her and grabbed one of the cookies in one smooth motion. Ow, hot! I flung the cookie on into my mouth anyway. 
worth the pain. Damn, that was delicious. <laughs> wait, wait a moment, you silly goose. You never fail to make me laugh, Gora. I quite admire that. I did a mocking bow with my arms behind me, behind me, back, behind my back, and put on my best fancy accent. The pleasure is all mine, lady. Stop you! I wolfed down another cookie. Hell yeah. You do know those are for sharing with everyone, right? I'm part of everyone. What's the problem here? We laughed together at the bit we were performing. Uh, that reminds me of Gore. What's up, Violet? It's come to my attention that this show will be ending quite soon. Yeah, it is. Oh, do cheer up, please. I don't intend to... I don't intend to feel sorry for myself. Instead, I want to use the time we have left here to do something I've always longed to do. What is that? And what's that? What I want is to go on a date. The kind that normal people go on. The kind that I've only read about. Having a picnic, watching a movie at the theater, long walk home the beach, even something crazy like a paint night. And then we can watch the sunset go down together and it'd be so romantic. Her enthusiasm was adorable. She was practically bouncing around the room like a ping pong ball. I think we can make that happen. Can we now? Which one? Why not all of them? She's got the most beautiful smile. Damn. Really? You've got to be kidding me. You can count on me, Violet. I'll make it happen. <laughs> Yay! She did a little cheer and dance. Gosh, I can't stop smiling looking at her. God, they're all so cute. That said, I have no idea what to do. Guess this will be touch and go. It wouldn't be fair if you figured out everything. Let me handle the picnic. She pulled out a basket from behind her. She was ready. Care to join me in the lovely outdoors? I wouldn't miss it for the world, Violet. We walked outside for a while, then settled on a lovely spot with a nice mix of shade and sunlight for our picnic. Gosh, look at her, she's so precious. The way her silver hair caught the sunlight, it was enough to make you believe in angels. She was so beautiful. Dig in, I've brought plenty, please don't hold yourself back. You've got to be the, I've got to be the luckiest person alive. I was gonna say, you've got to, yeah, I am. Beautiful anime girls, if only it were real. Save that kind of talk for after you try this. I'm letting you have the first bite. Should I be worried? I smiled as she mock pouted. Just kidding. She laughed and smiled as she spoon fed me a delicious egg roll. Called it. I'm the luckiest person alive. Not just because the food's delicious, but because you're here next to me, Violet. You made this week so special. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I feel the same way, Gore. And there's more wherever that came from. You're absolutely right. I've got something prepared for just the two of us next. You owe me that one, Gore. We enjoyed the delicious food and conversation over the rest of the afternoon. We walked back to the mansion hand in hand, smiling all the while. Next stop, the only movie theater on the island, the game room. I didn't know we had a room like this in the mansion. I'm not surprised. Tara's pretty territorial about this room from what I've heard. But right now, it's our very own private movie theater. I did a little jazz hands up TV. That seems like something I would do. Violet clapped as if I had just put on the performance of a lifetime. I made a dramatic bow, then took a look at what movies we had in store. Let's see, we have rom-coms, fantasy medieval movies, war movies, and a few superhero movies, and last but not least, a horror movie. I'll put on a rom-com. From what Violet was saying earlier, this would definitely be her favorite. I started the movie, then went back and sat down next to Violet with my arm around her. Smooth. The story was about a girl who moved to a place called New York to become a writer, falls in love with a boy she meets there, and eventually realizes her dream and her love. It wasn't anything special, but Violet was thoroughly entranced for the whole movie. Me, I was more entranced by her. After the credits rolled, Violet practically burst into tears. <laughs> this was the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life. My whole life! Then how about we take a scene you liked from the movie and turn it into a painting? <gasps> oh my gosh, you didn't. Just wait right here for a second. Okay. 
I had no idea where to find art supplies, but I knew if there was anyone who could, it was Cat. Cat, I think you know the sitch. You got some nerve putting this together at the last minute, but I like that about you. Four, set up everything they need for paint night in the main hall of the mansion. Stat! Oh man, I just finished my shift. Even better, you've got free time for this. And so we started painting on canvases in the main hall. I think I'll paint a picture of... A scene from- we'll do a scene from the movie, because Violet and I are watching a movie too. Like, I've committed to you, Ree. A scene from the movie. Ugh, there's too many to pick from. Which scene are you painting, Gore? I haven't decided yet, how about you? I'm drawing the scene where the girl runs out in the rain to tell the boy that she loves her. It was just so romantic. She sighed like a love-struck teenager. I could tell she was putting her whole heart into her painting. She captured the scene perfectly. As for me, let's just say I was more focused on making the people have the right number of heads and was working from there. An hour or so later, we finished and compared our final artworks. She's an incredibly talented artist. Me, not so much. That was embarrassing, but man, it was worth it just to see her smile and break into laughter. Her laughter was interrupted by a gurgle from her stomach. Mother would punish me for sure if she heard me make that sound, but who cares now? Violet was unstoppable at this point. Is it time for dinner? I do believe it is. I volunteered to cook, but she wanted to go back to the restaurant that we went on our first date, so we did. Apparently she was trying too hard to be prim and proper back then and didn't actually get to eat as much as she wanted. She ate up a storm, almost literally. Almost. We spent dinner wolfing down delicious food without a care in the world and laughing about scenes in the movie and our little artsy adventure. Then finally, we went for the long-awaited walk on the beach. We held hands as we walked along the ocean. Waves of, the waves of the ocean seemed to play music for us as we skirted by. At times, we talked without end. At other times, we enjoyed each other's company and warmth and silence. Either way, we were as happy as can be. We talked about how the past, the present, and the future were so different than before because of each other. You know, Gora, if you asked me to marry you right now, without a doubt, I'd accept. I know it sounds quite crazy to say that in such a short period of time, but I just know. She kissed me passionately with everything she had. Oh shit, don't let Yui see the footage. We fell together on the soft sand of the beach. Oh. No, why are you- you dumb fuck! No, we have Yui! Will you marry me, Violet? I looked at her and saw the most beautiful smile from the most beautiful girl there was. I know the final ceremony is tomorrow, but I want you to know how I feel- Why the fuck am I a player? No, I wanted to stay loyal to Yui! No, goddammit! A moment passed. It felt like my heart was trapped in my throat. Of course. I know what I said, Gore. And then I saw something I'd never seen before, and would never see again. The sky outside rapidly turned from br bright blue to black, as if it were water being t drowned in the dark darkest ink. Then the bright sun in the sky went out like a candle in the wind, as the warmth of the beach sand disappeared in an instant. Please collect the cast. The experiment is complete. What? The last thing I saw was Violet screaming as shadowy figures grabbed her from behind. A second later, I couldn't even see my hands reaching for Violet's, desperately trying to pull her back to me. Then I felt somebody grab me from behind. No, not somebody. There must have been several people. What the fuck? They forced me to the ground and cuffed me behind my back. You're under arrest! I screamed, but there was no sound. I couldn't hear anything. Not even the sound of the waves. I tried to fight, but there was no way out. I screamed for Violet, for her to run as far as she could, but I heard no response. Then, nothing. What the fuck? What the fuck? I woke up on an operating table, the kind you'd see in a nightmare. Blood splattered on the floor and the walls, the smell of disinfectant and rotting flesh. There was a nearby table littered with metal instruments that could make anybody talk. My first instinct was to get up and get off of it as fast as possible, but my neck and hands were legs were cuffed down and pinned on. And, oh my god, okay, what the fuck? I tried to force myself out with all my strength, but the braces didn't so much as budge. Hello? What's going on? I think Yui saw me propose to her. Where am I? Violet, you there? 
All I heard back were echoes of my own screams. Wherever I was, this place must have been massive. Hey, Gore. Cat was holding some kind of helmet with thick wires extruding from the back of it. Don't worry. Violet is doing fine. She's just taking a little nap. Cat? What's going on? You, you've got to help me. I was just on my date with Violet when everything went dark and these guys fucking kidnapped us and... I know, Gore. I know. She sighed. You did good, but not good enough. That's pretty much it. Would it make you feel better to hear that you're the best one yet? I, I don't care. Get me out of here. At this point, there's no point explaining. She placed the helmet on my head carefully. Even if I wanted to stop her from doing so, the brace around my neck made it impossible to maneuver. Please, cat, don't do this. I could hear the hum of a massive generator turning on behind me. She raised her hand, revealing a trigger switch with a single- Am I about to get electrocuted? I- I just want to get out of here. I want to get back to my life, whatever it is, please. Not today, Glor. She pressed it. I'm- The sound of crashing waves, a world without time or color. I'm back. This time, it's as if I'm sitting in an audience watching myself from afar. The escape had failed. I'd been separated from her and captured. We really never had a chance, did we? I find myself praying that she's safe if anything happened to her. For a moment, the world exploded with color. Always the hero, aren't you, Gore? What did you do to her? You should be more worried about yourself. You knew the rules. If you try to escape the island, you die. It didn't have to be like this, but you... I'm done talking. Goodbye, Gore. I did that. Oh, will you look at that? Looks like our little hero's got some time left in them, life left in them. You know, Gore, you're in luck. Usually I just kill you for this, but a new opportunity has just opened up, and I think you'd be the perfect fit. Hey, don't just lie there. Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show, you can't just sleep through it. Watch me. Oh, that's how you want to play? It's on. Ow! Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Ow, oh, ow, oh, did you just hit me? What? Me? Never in a million years. Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name's... I can't remember my name. Really now, you've got to be joking. I'm dead serious, I can't remember a thing. Who knows, it might be for the better. Luckily, you've got your name on file, Gore. My name's Kat, it's nice to meet you. You're the star of our new show, Fine Club or Die Tron. Let me get you up to speed. What the fuck? Okay, I think we'll stop there this time. Oh my god, okay, this is a fucking roller coaster, Jesus. Oh my god. Yui, I swear I wasn't cheating on you, but what the fuck? Okay, um, yeah, see you guys next time. Er, yeah, okay, we gotta, we gotta make it up to Yui because we practically cheated on him with Violet. I did not mean to do that. I literally chose that, like, Oh my god, no. Yui, I'm sorry. I'm faithful, I promise. But anyways, I think this will be the end for now, and I will probably play more tomorrow. I don't even know when this will get uploaded, but I will try. Anyway, bye-bye. <laughs>